Hiya, Laurie here. So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video and it is going to be on the new Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is absolutely stunning. So here are all the colours here and here is the look that I came up with. I cannot wait to do more looks with this palette. So if you'd like to see how I got this look and you would like to see any other makeup looks that I come up with in the future, please subscribe and like this video and just stay tuned to see how I got this look that's on my face right now. So when you open it up, then I'll just take that wee guy away, you can see, oh, bye bye brush. This is the colours here, gorgeous colours and you do get a little brush which looks awesome. I do really like the brushes that come with the Anastasia um, eyeshadow palettes. So two sides as per usual, fluffy and slightly dense fluffy side. And let's just get straight on to it. I have no idea what I'm going to do today, but that's half the fun. So I'm just going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and pop this on my eyes. Woo! And then just blend that in with my Real Techniques sponge. Totally dry as I haven't wet it yet. I'm actually like still in my jammies and everything. I'm not long well up. Uh, like I said, I haven't been feeling too great, so I've been actually stuck in bed for almost two weeks now, and I am going crazy. But I've started a bullet journal, which has basically kept me from going crazy, so if you would like a flip through of that, let me know in the comments below, and I will definitely do that for you guys. It is my first time ever doing a bullet journal, so probably won't be anything exciting, but still. So first I'm just going to go in with this colour here which is Tempra and I'm just going to use that to um, set, sorry I'm trying to pull this little sticker off at the same time, to set my concealer and I'm just using a large fluffy brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number one brush. Um, so it's got a little slight shimmer in it but it is the lightest colour in the palette. So I'm just going to use that to set that concealer. So next I'm just going to take a smaller fluffy brush and this is the BH Cosmetics number no. 2 brush and I'm going to go into Burnt Orange and that is this gorgeous colour here, a nude colour, sort of a um, mustardy almost. So I've literally dabbed that in as Anastasia palettes are usually very pigmented and it is very pigmented. I'm thinking of going for a, a halo eye today. So I'm just going to build up my crease and just blend as I go. So I'm just going to take that same colour and pop it just in the corner of my eye as well and just bring it into the crease. So then I'm just going to take a denser fluffy brush, this is the BH Cosmetics number no. 3 brush and I'm just going to go into Sina, Sina? <laughs> which is just slightly dark, well quite darker than the burnt orange colour and again I'm just dabbing it in and really pigmented and I'm just going to bring that down onto the outer corner of my eye and then up into the crease as well. I really wanted to get the new Jeffree Star palette and I went to buy it and it sold out in two minutes, literally two minutes, I couldn't believe it. I got to the checkout and before I could even hit pay, it came up sold out. I was like, are you kidding? It was so gutted. And then I saw that Anastasia brought out a new palette, so I was like, love Anastasia as well. So I'm just going to bring that into the inner corner as well. And I didn't get the Subculture palette, which I'm still kind of glad about as after watching a lot of the reviews, it um, doesn't seem that great, but apparently they have changed the formula and like packed them in a bit better so that the problems aren't as bad. 
So I'm just bringing that right up into the crease and just connecting those two colours. So hopefully, um, when I do buy it, the problems that were there at the beginning aren't there now. But it'll probably be a while as I'm still hoping to get the Love Sick palette. Um, the new Jeffree Star palette, which is coming to Beauty Day in March, I think. So I don't know the exact date, but super excited for that. So keep an eye out for a first impressions on that one. And Line Crime have brought out a new palette as well. Everyone's bringing out a palette at the same time. It's annoying. Can't keep up. So I'm just going to go back in with that, that large fluffy brush that I went in with earlier and then just diffuse those edges. So now I'm just going to go into Mulberry, which is this colour right here. It has just been calling out to me since I bought this. It's just a gorgeous sort of satin orangey red colour. Beautiful. So I'm just going to take a very small pencil brush, no fancy name for this one. Just a simple pencil brush. Still quite fluffy though and I'm just going to dab that on again and I'm just going to pop that right on the outer corner. And the inner corner. And then just bring those two together. And going in with that small fluffy brush, the BH Cosmetics number no. 2 brush, I'm just going to blend all that together. I'm just blending it up and out as well. So I'm just going to go back into Mulberry, but I'm also going to take Cyber Cypress Umber. <laughs> which is just this brown colour here and I'm just going to dab it into both of them and then pop that on my outer corner a little pigment inner corner and then just blend those together Now I'm just going to go back into Mulberry on its own with the same brush and just do the exact same thing. And I've just cleaned off that same brush and I'm just going to go back into Tempra which was the first colour I used and I'm just going to bring that around the edges just to buff those out a little bit. So I'm going to pop a little shimmer colour right in the centre and I really can't decide which one I want. I think I'm going to go with the bronze, which is a beautiful gold. And I'm going to pop it on with a flat brush. This is the BH4 brush. I'm going to try it dry first just to see how we go here. So far I haven't really had any fallout, but I'm kind of expecting fallout from this. So I'll just um, swipe that through. And I'm just going to pop that straight in the centre. very pigmented dry as you can see but I'm going to try it wet as well so I'm just going to pop some Fix Plus on the brush might be a bit too much dabbing it a wee bit and I'm just going to take it into that same colour very pigmented when you do that, of course. I'm just going to do the same to the other eye. So 
So I'm just going to take that small pencil brush that I took earlier and I'm going to go into Cypress Umber, which is that dark brown colour, and I'm just going to kind of diffuse that slightly around the edges. I'm taking that larger um, pencil brush, the VH number 3 brush, I'm going to go back into Mulberry and just take that all right over the top of that cypress colour. Then taking my larger fluffy brush, the number one BH cosmetics brush, I'm just going to buff that in. So now I'm just going to take my Super Cat Soap and Glory eyeliner and I'm just going to attempt the wing. I say attempt because I am um, rubbish at them and like I say I'm not feeling too great so I'm a bit shaky but here goes nothing. Wings on, not amazing, but good for me. Um, so I'm just going to take a flat angled brush and I'm going to go into Noir, which is just a awesome black colour and it looks very black. So I'm just going to use that to go over the liner I've already put down. So now I'm just going to curl my lashes and I'm going to pop on some PS False Lash Effect Mascara. So it's going to shine it. And then I will be right back. So that's mascara done. I haven't got a lot on as I am going to put on false lashes later. But for now I'm just going to go off camera and do my makeup just to see one time. If you would like to see how I do that I will link a video down below. But it's really just about the eyeshadow today. So I think that will just leave that part out. And I will be back in a minute. So now that I've got the red in my face on it, I'm going to do my lower lid and I'm just going to take the actual brush that came with the soft glam palette and I'm just going to take some cypress umber, which is this one here, and I'm just going to take the flatter fluffy side of the brush and I'm just going to pop that on the outer corner and bring it slowly into the tear duct. Then I'm going to take that same brush and go into Mulberry, which is the redder velvety shade, and I'm just going to pop that on the outer corner and blend it in. Then I'm just going to take the other side of that brush and just smoke that out. And then I'm just going to take my Massive Beauty London um, eye pencil, which is one of those twisty ones. I love this pencil and I'm just going to use that to, to fill in my waterline and tightline. Then taking that same <coughs> uh, angled brush I used earlier, I'm going to go back into Noir, which is the black colour really any black colour and I'm just popping that right along my lash line, my four lash lines so just where the lashes are growing out. This is super pigmenty. Then I'm just going to take that same small puppy brush from the palette and I'm just going to brush that over with a tiny bit of mulberry which is the ready colour and just smoke that with the black that I've just placed down. So 
open it, I'm just going to go and pop on that same mascara I used earlier on my lower lashes and I'm also going to pop on some false lashes, sorry I don't actually know the name of these guys, they're just little wispy guys. So I'm going to pop those on and I will be right back. So here is the finished look guys and I hope you like it, I love it and I cannot wait to continue playing with this palette so keep an eye out for more looks with this bad boy and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!